we're taught as kids that our purpose in life is to know, love, and serve God. And I thought, well, what does that really mean? That we strive to live in harmony with people um, and to follow the example of Christ on how do you live with people. We're asked to grow in our faith. As children, we learn our faith at that, that age, but then as we grow, um, I think it's up to each of us to learn our faith at the age that we're at so that we can understand what that faith means to us and how to live it. You don't necessarily have to work for the church. A lot of times people think they have to be, um, they have to work for the church to be involved and they don't. You can volunteer, be part of groups, uh, participate in, in different things. Because if, um, if we look at our faith, Christ didn't spend all his time in a synagogue. He went to the synagogue on Saturday and that was it. But what did he do when he was among people? What did he do with people? And I think that's what we need to, to, to look at. How can we make society a better place? How can we make society kind of live the teachings of Christ to kind of help bring society up to that, to that level? Because um, by nature, uh, we humans are very selfish <laughs> and we think only of ourselves. So, and I think that's something um, most people will fall back into if, you're, if there's not something to help you raise yourself up. And I think that's what Christ is there for. It's to kind of help us look at a higher goal and not just the base goals, humanness.